Hey, welcome back to my channel, Zach Tip Mechanic, and to another episode of Free on Facebook, a series in which I find things for free on Facebook and I repair them, recycle them, or reuse them. And in, in this episode, I got yet another washer. This washer is a Kenmore, but this video is going to apply to any sort of direct drive washer, whether it's a Kenmore, Maytag, or Whirlpool. In this video, and this particular washer doesn't doesn't spin, so I'm going to cover nine reasons why. The, this washer or your washer might not spin so if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos all right so the simplest reason your washer is not spinning is the lid switch this is a safety mechanism to make sure you don't stick your hand in there while it's spinning so when you open the lid you should hear a click if you don't hear that click most likely your lid switch is mechanically broken and to get to this all you have to do is just take off the cover and it'll be on the inside. So the cover's off and you can actually test the lid switch on this particular model. If you have continuity between the first pin and the last pin when the lid is closed and that continuity is broken when the lid is open your lid switch is good. But if you don't it's very simple. Just remove the cover and undo these two screws and there's a couple clips that hold it in and you should be able to pop it right off. So, and this should look something like, like this. All right, so that's the first reason why your washer is not spinning. All right, so the second reason is that there's something stuck in the drain pump. Now, just since this is a direct drive washer, the motor is directly paired with the pump. So I've seen it where baby socks get stuck in this and that's enough to bind up the motor so it'll no longer spin. So to do that, to check to see if there's anything in here, all you have to do is undo this clip and, and loosen up to allow the drain pump to come right off. And then remove the hoses. As you can see, there is nothing in that drain pump. If your drain pump was clogged, your machine wouldn't spin and it would give off this awful humming noise. So that's two reasons down. Let's move on to the third one. So for the third reason your machine is not spinning is the motor coupler. If you look at that, we're going to put it on the side. I'll put it on its back. And I believe we found out why this particular one's not spinning. Um, that piece just fell out. This is part of the coupler. So this couples the motor to the transmission. And let's see if I can show you. Yep, there it is. If I can... Right there. So looks like the coupler here is broken. And so if this is broken, it's not going to agitate, nor is it going to spin. And this is what the coupler should look like. So we'll, we'll, stick to, we'll install this at the end of this video. It's really easy, but just want to cover some more reasons. So that's reason number three, broken coupler. Reason number four, your machine won't spin, is this piece here. This is called a clutch, and this is a... Essentially, when this is broken, you'll, your machine will agitate but not spin. So that's one sign to look for when you're wondering if it's the clutch or not. And that's this piece all the way up in here. So there's a lot of videos on how to replace it. It's, it's not that bad, but just wanted to share with you another reason. And the main symptom of this is that it'll agitate, but it won't spin. This is a centripetal clutch, and it engages a spin tube when motor reaches a certain speed so the pads inside here wear out or get burned up so that'll be one reason why your well, yet another reason why your machine's not spinning is the clutch so reason number five is if your machine's not spinning but if it sounds like a car accident or a train wreck or something um, very uh, violent it's most likely the drive block and the drive block is what Sits, sits down and 
attaches the this tub to the spin tube and sometimes these these tabs right here or the drive block itself can just disintegrate from all the rust build up and soap scum and whatnot but then essentially the spin tube will be spinning inside of here and it'll just you just hear this metal clanking so if you hear metal clanking most likely going to have to replace the drive block the sixth reason your machine is not spinning and probably the least likely reason is the timer so if you notice that the timer goes to spin and just doesn't do anything it's most likely the timer uh, there's contacts inside here that get corroded and so um, it's just not making uh, contact and you can go in and try to clean them up but uh, or you may just have to replace the timer altogether but that's very rare another reason your machine's not spinning and this reason actually sounds similar to if the drain pump was clogged is the motor capacitor and that's all the way over here and when that's not spinning you'll hear a humming sound so you can if your drain pump itself is okay uh, you can come and uh, you can measure the cap capacitance of this capacitor and you see if that's in it within spec or you could just order it for 10 bucks and pop it in and see if that makes a difference so motor capacitor Eighth reason is also a unlikely reason but it's that the transmission is bad this is what a transmission on a direct drive washer looks like but to test this a quick test on this is that if everything else is okay meaning that the, the coupler and the motor is, are okay, you should be able to free spin this um, a motor shaft in either direction. You should be able to turn just fine. And we know that in this case, the coupler is broken, so this is not gonna be a good indi indication if our transmission is okay, but if the coupler was okay, you should still be able to turn it in either direction like this. That's uh, how you check if your transmission is working. All right, so the last reason that your motor won't spin is that the motor itself is bad. Or your washer won't spin is that the motor itself is bad. Um, obviously, if the motor is bad, it's not going to spin, nor is it going to agitate. So I'll show you a quick method I use um, to test the motors. Uh, basically, I bypass the lid switch, and I'm going to pull the motor out of the machine and put it on the ground and test it. So to test the motor, and also this, this also tests the motor capacitor, but I pull the motor out of the transmission and just set it on the ground right here. It's still plugged in, and I bypassed the, sw the, the lid switch. Um, you can use a paper clip, but I, I like to use just the switch itself and zip tie it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put the motor or the timer into a spin mode. And there we go. You can see that the motor is actually working beautifully. Spinning on both ends. Clean up that copper that got burned up, broken up, and that's it. So that's nine reasons why your direct drive washer is not spinning. All right, so I'm gonna go and just uh, replace that coupler and this one should be ready to go. So I've installed the new coupler and I've reinstalled the motor and the drain pump. So let's see if that solves this issue of the, the machine not spinning. Um, I'm pretty sure it will because it helps to have the motor um, coupled to the transmission. So we're just going to put this on to spin and see if it spins real quick. There you go. Problem solved. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos and hopefully this helped you.